You are a pastor. Good heavens, what are you doing, Dad? You're sleeping with the nun? She could be my sister. Nathaniel, you're not even supposed to be here. I knew you were cheating on Mom. That was your letter, wasn't it? No, it's not what it looks like. You're a liar and a hypocrite. How could you do this to your family, to your wife? Son, I can explain this. No, no, I'm gonna go tell Mom. They will ruin me. They'll kick me out of the church. Let us now pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and ask your blessings on this wonderful meal that my wonderful wife Sarah has worked so hard to put together. And dear Lord, we thank you and ask that you also continue to be the guiding light, pointing us down the path of righteousness. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's eat. Nathaniel, tell me about school today. It's good. I got a new English teacher, Mr. Walton. Mr. Walton. Is he new in town? Does he have a family? No, he's divorced. Some kids said they heard him talking on the phone to his ex-wife, said it sounded like he cheated or something, and that's why they broke up. Oh, that's so awful. I can't believe people do that. That's terrible. Yeah, I guess people grow apart or something. Grow apart? Grow apart? That behavior is immoral. Anybody that cheats will burn in hell. You mark my words. That's a bit harsh. Don't you think people deserve a second chance? Maybe it was a moment of weakness. No! That is a weak, immoral, dishonest man. And that's an example of everything that is wrong in the world today. He couldn't keep his family together because he couldn't control his sinful urges. But doesn't the Bible say to forgive others and not judge on their mistakes? That's actually a great question. Let's consult the Bible. We have it right here. Let's see what it says. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32 but the man who commits adultery is an utter fool for he destroys himself and if we look at Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 it says give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery amen well it sounds like you're judging him too hard boy are you questioning God I'm sure he didn't mean anything wrong. I, he just concerned about his teacher. Right, honey? But, but that's what the Bible says. In Matthew 7, 1, do not judge or you too will be judged. We can't be so quick to judge on one mistake. You don't speak that back to me in my own house. Do you understand me? Your teacher is a dirty, filthy sinner and he's going to burn in hell. Now, a man of God does not cheat with a common Jezebel and break up his family. If you question me, you're questioning God Almighty himself. And I will not tolerate that in this home. Do you understand me? Stop, stop. I said, do you understand me? Yes. Yes, what? I'm sorry. <coughs> now, back to this bountiful feast that the Lord has provided. Come in. Nathaniel. Hey, Dad. Hey, I am so glad you're here. I'm having a problem. I'm working on my sermon, and I cannot get it to save. I think there may be something wrong with these files. Would you mind looking at this while I'm gone? Yeah, sure. I can save it to a flash drive or something. That would be perfect. Thank you so much. Where are you going? I have to go pick up Sister Mary Helen. She's just around the corner. We have a planning meeting for our charity event. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Dearest Pastor, the time you spent together the last few weeks has been so special to me. Special to me. I love you with all my heart, and I look forward to our next meeting. Next meeting? This isn't my mom's handwriting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mom! Mom! Nathaniel! <sighs> Honey, is everything okay? Mom, I... I don't know how I'm gonna tell you this. It's gonna sound crazy. You, you might want to take a seat or something. Just tell me! I think... I think Dad might be... Praise be unto the Lord. 
Nathaniel and Sarah, you're both here. I'm so glad. This is Sister Mary Helen. She is a nun from St. Joseph's, just down the street from our church. We've decided to collaborate on this month's charity event. We thought it'd be good for the community to see that despite our differences, our common love of the Lord is what joins us all together. Amen? Amen. Hello, Mrs. Benson. It's so lovely to meet you. God be with you. It's lovely to meet you too, Mary Helen. So, Mary Helen, where did you meet my dad? Well, we met at the Helping Hands convention. He was doing a speech on fidelity and marriage, and I felt so drawn to approach him. And we both love helping others, so we thought we would work together on this charity event. That's so lovely, Mary Helen. I can see the Holy Spirit radiating from you. Yes, it's very true. I've been working with the sister for several weeks now. She's been very hands-on with everything. That's a really nice ring. Where'd you get it? Oh, well, Pastor Benson actually gave it to me as a gift. He said it was a union of our churches. Yes, that's a true story. The Lord spoke to me. He wanted me to reward the sister for all the hard work that she has been putting in. Speaking of hard work, don't you think we should get started with today's planning session? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Well, you two have a fun and blessed day. I'm going to the store to get some groceries for the soup kitchen. Wait, I have something to show you. I see you found grandmother's letter. Grandma wrote this? Of course she did. What did you think this was? My dearest pastor, the time we spent together these past few weeks has been so special to me. I love you with all my heart, and I look forward to our next meeting. Well, of course, I'm a pastor. I met with my mother. It's very simple. What did you think this was? Did you? Wait a minute, did you think I have a lover on the side or something? I'm a man of God. You should be ashamed of yourself. Run along and help your mother now. Yes, sir. The Lord was testing me. I thought they would never leave. I'm so glad we're finally alone. I've been thinking about you all day today. Heaven is just a sin away. Amen. Mom, I swear, there's something off about Mary Helen. Oh, and stop that... it, stop it. I'm tired of you talking about that. Everything is fine. Stop it, okay? It's enough. And, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot the car keys. Okay, I'll go get them. Thank you. Oh, Pastor, take me to heaven. Tell me who's your savior. You are, Pastor. Tell me again. You are, Pastor. Good heavens, what are you doing, Dad? You're sleeping with the nun? She could be my sister. No, Nathaniel, you're not even supposed to be here. I knew you were cheating on Mom. That was your letter, wasn't it? No, it's not what it looks like. You're a liar and a hypocrite. How could you do this to your family, to your wife? Son, I can explain this. No, no, I'm gonna go tell mom. They will ruin me. They'll kick me out of the church. Is that all you care about? Your job? What about your family? I don't know what came over me. I was confused. It was the hand of Satan. He reached out and touched me. I can't believe you preach so much against being an immoral and unfaithful man where you're being one yourself. You're just like Judas. What did you say? You're just like Judas. You're immoral and you're a hypocrite. You don't speak to me that way. I'm gonna go tell mom. You can try. She'll never believe you. And in the end, I'll ship you away to work in the ministry in Africa. Get off of me. Oh. Whoa, oh. what is going on here? I caught Nathaniel coming on to Sister Mary. It's true, he, he was coming on to me. If Pastor Benson weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. That's not true. Dad is having an affair with Mary Helen. I don't know where he's getting these crazy ideas from. That's not possible, son. Your father is a man of God. But I saw them kissing each other. Is that true, Mary Helen? Of course not, Mrs. Benson. Your son is lying. We were just planning the charity. Just planning. I'm so disappointed in you. Go to the car right now. You're grounded. Mom. Go! I'm sorry, this, was, this would never happen again. I'll take care of him.
Nathaniel knows his father is having an affair with Mary Helen, but he can't prove it, so he decides to take matters into his own hands. He sneaks back into his dad's office and sets a camera so that he can record his dad and Mary Helen together, catching them in the act. Heavenly Father, we ask that you grant my wife and I strength as we deal with the terrible lies that Satan has been making my son tell. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Speaking of lies, I have something to show you. What's this? I recorded you and Mary Helen. Mom, I have real proof that he is cheating on you. Nathaniel, not this nonsense again. That's enough, stop it. Mom, please listen to me. No, I will not listen to your lies again. I'm disappointed in you. But mom! Nathaniel! Enough! Your mother and I have been discussing sending you away to Africa to work in the ministry. Your behavior is sinful. Mom, please, just have faith in me and just watch the video. Sarah, please don't listen to him. Mom, have faith in me, mom. Please. Okay, let's show me the video. You were cheating on me. This is not what it looks like. I can't believe it. He was saying the truth. You are having an affair. I don't know what came over me. I was possessed by evil, seduced by a witch. It's happening, I can't control this. Oh my, oh, oh, oh. oh stop it, you're being dramatic. You make me sick. You ruined this family. After all these years of loving you, the Bible says right here, forgive and forget. Can't you do that? I can cure anything else. Live now. I said now. Mom. Are you okay? I just, I can't believe he would do this. I know. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't believe I didn't believe you. Would you ever forgive me? Of course, Mom. I love you. <gasps> oh, this is awkward. Uh, Sister Mary wants me to get the Bible back. Is that going to be a problem? Get out! Okay. The entire Christian community found out what Pastor Benson had done. This got him fired and he was never able to work at another church again. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share it with all your friends and family so that they can also receive this message. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place one story at a time.